Have you ever wondered how the projects on the Explore page get so much attention? Like, I was just roaming around here yesterday, and I mean, look at this. Let's take this project, Pizza Craze. It got 100 likes yesterday, and now it has like a 1,000 likes. And that's just crazy. I wrote the script yesterday, and it had 65,000 views. Now it has 69,000. Nice. But that means it got 4,000 views in one day, which is just crazy. So let's check out their account. Maybe they'll have lots of projects or they may have joined like 10 years ago, like Griffpatch, but they've only joined four months and two weeks ago. So maybe their project is a really good project and it has a nice concept and not really a nice thumbnail, but let's just check out the project. Okay. What am I nice? And I'm not sure this is, no offense, it's not really an exciting project. Like this got, thousands of views, tens of thousands. If you check out my profile, I joined like two years ago and my best project only got like 600 views. So you guys have to agree that my projects are better than Pizza Craze's project, right? If Akeja is watching this, that previous statement was a big mistake. That was none of your business. You can check out my projects in my YouTube channel page. I can just show you here. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. And you can see my link will be just here. And I'll say one more link. That's just my Muse score. You can ignore that. And if you click on that, you can see all my projects and you can play them. This is just an experiment. So jokes aside, I can literally recreate this pizza craze project in five minutes. So, how do people like this gain so much retention from their accounts? So, in today's video, we'll be looking at how to get lots of retention from your projects, and let's use it on this project called Thumbnail Time, because why not? Which brings us to the first tip, thumbnails. Thumbnails are really important, because making an attractive thumbnail can make lots of people click on your project, just like people click on this video, like you. And hopefully you're still watching. So. To make a thumbnail, you might be wondering, we need our when green flag clicked and a forever loop. Then we need to make one variable called timer. So we're just doing a mini tutorial here and set timer to the timer sensing block. Now let's show the timer and the other timer. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. I'm just going to be showing you some stuff. And I do have a link on the original video on how to make a stop detector. So we're going to make a stop button detector. And link will be in the description, so just go down there and click it for yourself, and you can find out how to do it. But here's just like a mini tutorial. So, set timer to timer, and when loudness is over 10. Now you may be wondering, why do we need loudness? Just click on it and change it to timer, which is what we need, because this block can keep operating even after we stop the project. So, when the timer is over our timer variable, we need to do something. Now, if we want to show the thumbnail, then we just need to show. And we don't want it to show forever, so put a hide block at the beginning. You can now hide all the variables. I'm pretty sure it works now. Go to costumes and you can design your thumbnail. So I'm just going to quickly design my thumbnail. Okay, that's my thumbnail done. And I think that's a great thumbnail. Of course, you should do what it says. I'm not going to say it because it is kind of annoying. So let's just get on with it because I always spend a lot of time and people complain about it. So just subscribe, I, I said, okay? So now when you press the green flag, it will not show. But when you press the stop, it will show. And it'll also promote it when people play your project. So let's just say I reload the page here. And as soon as I see the project, it'll have the green flag thing on it and the thumbnail will be behind. But when I click on it, you can have your actual project. And if you want it to show up on the page, press the stop button and then press save now and then it should show up on any page. I'm not going to do it, but you can test it for yourself. If I'm wrong, shout at me in the comments. I don't really care. So there you go. That's how to do a thumbnail. Another thing that you need to do to make your project more popular is tags. Now you might see, let's go back to that Pizza Craze project. They probably have a few tags. As you can see, he does have tags. Pizza, pizzas, crazy, crazy, dash, wave, dodge, game, games. And it's not bad. Just add a bunch of tags relating to your project. And there is a maximum amount of characters, so don't go too overboard with it. And don't forget, you can also duplicate these tags. So you could write pizza twice, 
and then your algorithm, the Scratch algorithm, will recommend it twice as much for people who search for pizza, which isn't very much, I guess. So let's just take any one of these. They're probably going to have tags. Um, maybe notes and credits. There you go. They have tags. Platformer, parkour, stickman, city, drive, gox, games, all. Not bad. So let's add tags to our project. Here's a little sneak peek of what I've been doing. Anyway, thumbnail time. So one thing you can also do is add tags for the different sections in the explore tab. I'll open that in a new tab. And you can put the different tags here for all animations, art, games, music, because they count as searches. So if we search games, it shows my profile here, but we're actually searching games. So lots of these will have the tag for games. We can take a look here. And so there we go. This guy has a lot of tags. Hashtag all, hashtag games, hashtag all, hashtag games, hashtag all, hashtag games. I'm not going to read it all, but you get the idea. Add as many tags that relate to your game or don't relate to your game if you want to be annoying. So let's do that right now. Okay, that seems like it's good. I'm just going to scroll all the way through my 50,000 million characters. I think that's too much, but I don't care. This is just a video. It didn't show. Oh well. So, one more thing you can do is make a popular project concept. For example, one of my very popular projects, both on YouTube and on Scratch, that is blown up like crazy, is the noise detector. This thing went crazy because it was a new thing that I've never seen on Scratch and nobody has seen yet. Because as I talk, it can move to my voice. I already made a tutorial on it, so go visit it. It was a pretty old tutorial and my microphone was pretty bad. So I'm probably going to make a new one to make up for it. And that's pretty cool, actually. I like it. And if you shout loud enough, I can make sound waves, but I'm not going to do that. So one more thing that we can do to make our projects better is use an existing franchise. Let's go to the Games tab, and you can see lots of these games, like, kind of back off of other games, such as Minecraft Platformer. S six? How many are there? So this one bases off of Minecraft, of course. You're going to see a lot of them, maybe on Fall Guys, maybe over in Credibox, lots of things here. There's Minecraft Platformer 6 again. Cookie Kicker, Tetris, that's Flappy Bird, I think. Lots of platformer games as well. So that's really all for this video. Hopefully your projects are going to become on the trending page, or anything really trending, popular. Roblox, see another Roblox, Egg Dash. So many games. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a Merry Christmas and New Year. And I'll see you guys in 2024, because this is the last video. I'm going to be posting a video, not a short, before 2024. So, bye guys.